Oh no. Have you got an image that is drastically overexposed and you can't go back and retake it? Maybe from a place that you visited and you're not planning on going back anytime soon? Well, don't cry and your cornflakes are thrown in the trash just yet. Help is here. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and in this video, you'll learn several practical tips on how to use the tools in Luminar Neo to save an overexposed image. This is a clip from one of my weekly live streams here on YouTube. Watch as I transform this image from this to this in just a few steps. So if you're ready to save some overexposed images, let's dive in. Okay, so how do we s solve this one? Okay, because when we look at the histogram, okay, um, I'm going to take this into Luminar, which is the preferred software again. Okay, when we look at the histogram, okay, and we turn on the clipping warnings, the entire sky is clipping. Okay, not for now for us. Okay, similar kinds of trees. Yeah, very similar. And this is the one you said you were having trouble replacing the sky, correct? Okay, because you wanted to replace the sky on this one. Um, I think this is the one you had said you wanted a sky replacement north of Spain. Okay, cool. Well, now I want to go to the north of Spain. Okay, so he said he wants to replace the sky. So let's correct the exposure before we work on the sky, okay? Because the exposure you can see is off the graph, okay? So this time we can't fix it by using the sliders here, okay? I've got to bring the exposure down first, okay? So when I bring the exposure down, we're getting a little bit more detail in the sky and you can start to see some stuff here, okay? Still clipping. Let's bring the highlights down, okay? That's helping, okay? We're never gonna get detail in this sky here because it's so overexposed that you'll just get gray, okay? So when you have a subject that's backlit, if it's really strongly backlit, you may have to bracket and use HDR, okay? The other thing is we could actually try this one in the HDR module. So that we're gonna do two different things here, okay? So we're gonna do this one one way and then we're gonna try a single image HDR on it, okay? And see what happens. I wanna make sure we fix any chromatic aberration. I am seeing a little bit here. Okay, so what chromatic aberration looks like is you'll see a little red fringe and I'm just seeing kind of a little bit of color there. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do defringe as well, okay? So now we've already got a whole bunch more color, okay? And we've got control of the clippings. This may help with the sky replacement as well, okay? So I'm just bringing the highlights down until it's not clipping anymore, like so. Okay. Again, a tiny bit of sharpening, keep the masking on the sky. Okay. Oh, one thing I forgot to do was color. Okay. So while I'm in here, we can also work on the color so I can try daylight. Um, and we can also look at the camera profiles. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there is a landscape one. There is. Okay. So look at landscape. Landscape ones usually give you more blue and green. And I'm going to go right to that one here. Okay. Now that it's given me more contrast, I don't need to pull this down as much. Okay. Still checking on that histogram keeping the clipping. So I'm just toggling J with my finger to turn off these clipping warnings. Okay. So as you can see, clipping, drag it down until it's not clipping. Okay. I feel like even though the trees are leaning that way, I still feel like they're tilting a little bit. So I might do something with a, with a correction. And I do want a little bit of blacks. So we don't have any black right now. Let's just come in until we get some black clipping. See that? Just a little bit of clipping. Okay, so that's just fixing the contrast. Okay, so that's just develop. That's it. Okay. I'm assuming you enjoyed the tips and found them valuable because you're still watching. So if you'd like more Luminar Neo education and tutorials, I have just the thing for you. 
check out the link in the description area below to access two free preview lessons that are part of my Luminar Neo The Complete Course. Then, after watching the lessons, you can decide if you want to buy the course. If you want to watch more videos here on YouTube, just click one on the screen now. Until next time, stay well, I'll see you soon.